what is going on everybody it's your boy che cole with a little different uh style video uh, doing a little bit of a vlog here of just you know the uh, bible study that i'm leading uh, in terms of identity value and purpose just wanted to kind of switch up the content a little bit and i thought this was probably one of the best examples of kind of showing you behind the scenes i'm not sure how many of you have ever uh, prepared a bible study or prepare a sermon even or just anything but kind of give you a, a back uh, behind the scenes look into the preparation and just kind of leaning up to uh, the bible study the bible study is actually tomorrow so i'm recording this the day before um and so just doing a little bit of preparation I'll, and i'll go into uh, tomorrow we'll see uh, the process uh, in, in leading up to the Bible study on identity, value, and purpose. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of important just to provide, you know, some, like I said, behind the scenes look at some of the preparation and things of that nature. And, and you get to see my thought process behind um, how we even got here. And, and I'll share that in a moment. But just thought I'd do something a little bit different just to show you uh, what went into uh, creating this Bible study, the things that people don't see, the things that uh, you wouldn't know if you attend or if you watch the, the recap, the recording of the Bible study that's about to take place um, tomorrow. So just thought it'd be cool to kind of do a vlog style and experiment with creativity and being creative. Uh, in this journey, in this process. Uh, just to provide some context, even as you know, we prepare to have this Bible study, like I said, it is tomorrow, and you'll kind of see uh, throughout this video uh, everything, all the pieces, and how everything comes together. So just some behind the scenes, and I'll probably share this during the Bible study as well, but um, it was a couple of weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago, um, I was really grieved in my spirit uh, in terms of seeing people struggle with identity, value, and purpose, right? These three different things. I log on social media and I'm seeing it. I'm uh, listening to people talk. I'm hearing people talk. And I'm, that's a common theme, a recurring theme that's coming up is, you know, just seeing people struggle with identity, value, purpose, uh, and I think as um, as you grow, as you mature in Christ, right, there's a, a burden that is placed on you. Uh, and sometimes the burden is given so that you could fulfill it, right? So that you could fill in the gap for whatever need it is that you uh, see. And sometimes I think when we misplace our identity, when we misplace the value and we don't have a clear understanding of those two things, we then uh, misunderstand our purpose in which we were created. And so uh, I felt the need in this season to really teach and explain these things because there's, uh, I think we have a level of faith, a measure of faith that has uh, kind of taught us and brought us to this place of understanding, to the level of understanding that we currently have. And it can get you but so far, but yeah. So this is gonna be behind the scenes look. Uh, I'll show you some of the preparation, some of the thought processes, some of the things that I've already prepared and how uh, it plays into tomorrow and uh, the Bible study. And yeah, I, I, just looking forward to embarking on this journey and seeing what comes out of this creative venture in terms of doing the vlog and then the Bible study. I, uh, so just to kind of catch you up, everything is pretty much prepared. I just got some uh, minor things and I'll talk through those things here in a second uh, in terms of the Bible study, uh, just kind of finished praying and wanted to start working on it. Everything must be led through prayer. So thank you all for tuning in. And yeah, this is the process behind the scenes of identity, value, and purpose, the Bible study. Let's get into it. So in terms of doing the Bible study, um, this is kind of what the notes look like. Um, I always start off with, you know, just having an outline. Uh, even my sermon preparation looks similar to what we see here. Uh, just some reminders here uh, to acknowledge the participants. If it's in a church setting, it'll be, you know, the church. Um, I kind of typed out a, a little uh, 
thing to kind of get me started and this will probably change as I um, really think through it and uh, reflect on it um, just uh, to start out uh, I have you know definitions of the different things uh, and really so in terms of my preparation it's really just going through scripture right and having scripture um, like when you look at my notes outside of this kind of the definitions and then this here which is uh, an excerpt from a, a study on identity uh, is uh, you'll notice that all of my notes um, out, outside of I have a few things highlighted but all of my notes here are scriptures um, there's no kind of words or, or things I'm gonna say uh, it's really just scripture and um, I think that's important to note because um, there's room for the Holy Spirit to move. I don't want to be boxed into, oh, this is a, a great idea. This is what the Lord is saying. Uh, I trust that what God has given. And this is not to say that I won't add things into these things as I kind of meditate on the scriptures. But a lot of this stuff is already in me, right? And it's about reading the scripture and then explicating and explaining what the Lord has already given. So uh, just kind of a, a peek into what I have there. Um, so you can see that part of the preparation. Um, like I said, it's all scripture. Everything is everything is scripture. So I'll continue adding on to what we have here. Uh, also, uh, just to show you what we have prepped, uh, I have this little survey here that I'll send out uh, to people who uh, attend and uh, it'll also be in the YouTube um, recording link. Uh, just to get some feedback, I, I don't think I'm you know, the best or the greatest, and, and there's always room for feedback in terms of what we do uh, in communicating, and I just want to provide an opportunity for people to um, provide that feedback and let me know, you know, what was the biggest takeaway? Was it even helpful? Um, what point needed more clarification? right and then any additional questions or comments about the Bible study uh, I think it's important that we gather that feedback and be open to uh, the criticism or the you know the uh, things that we bring forth right I don't want to miss out on anyone so that's pretty much all I want to show there I'll continue working through this and, and working through um, you know the different sections still got to work on the slides just some different things highlighted within the slides to to kind of explain and expound upon so uh yeah it's it's really just bible so you do a bible study with Shay, just know that uh it's gonna be bible <laughs> that's why we're here right so i just wanted to show y'all that and um yeah So that pretty much concludes tonight's uh, preparation for the Bible study. Um, we'll see how it goes, man. I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this day uh, since I announced that we would actually have it. So looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing what God does through uh, this Bible study and the freedom that takes place. I believe this will be a reminder for some and in empowerment for all because uh, it's truly when we understand our identity in Christ, uh, our value in Christ, and our purpose, that we become much more effective for God's glory in the kingdom of God, in the world. Um, and I think it will alleviate some of the pressures that we feel uh, in terms of uh, navigating life and navigating uh, this world. You know, uh, Jesus said to take heart in this life you will have trials but take heart because I have overcome the world right and so basis of cold therapy is Christians overcoming life every day and so because he overcame we can overcome so uh, yeah looking forward to seeing what takes place on tomorrow 
Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow as we prep for the Bible study identity, value, and purpose. Till next time. Before I kind of transition over to, you know, tomorrow, I feel the need to kind of share as well uh, in terms of, you know, reflecting on the creation of um, this Bible study that we're about to partake in. Uh, I feel the need to share. I know I talked about seeing others in terms of their journeys and uh, struggles with identity, value, purpose, and, you know, seeing things of that nature. I think it's important that uh, I express that I'm not exempt from those feelings and emotions. And uh, a lot of times in preparation, you it has to become real to you before you can preach to anyone else or before you can teach anyone else. So I felt led to share that um, because even now in this moment, a day before, uh, I can start to feel the pressure, the weight and the responsibility that is uh, within uh, leading and facilitating this discussion and this teaching. Um, so I just wanted to kind of transparently put that out there that uh, anytime that you um, watch a podcast, listen to a podcast, see me preach or, or teach and, and facilitate a Bible study, know that I'm not coming from a place of arrival, but a place of love and, and just sharing what uh, the Lord has spoken, spoken and revealed to me to share to his people. And so um, that burden that is placed on, uh, you know, the man or and or woman of God or, or whoever, um, do not take that lightly. You have been given a burden. You have been given a purpose. You have been given a calling that the Lord wants you uh, to to bring forth, to uh, to help assist, to help navigate. And sometimes you're going to feel the weight and the responsibility of that pressure. But this is your sign. This is your moment to, to know to keep pressing forward, to keep pressing uh, towards the high call that is Christ Jesus regardless of the opposition the enemy is upset about what we're about to partake in because of the freedom that is about to take place and if he can get me to close my mouth if he can get me to uh, question my identity my value and my purpose then he knows that i wouldn't be able to share uh, what he has given uh, to uh, to god's people and so i just wanted to share that uh, as you kind of watch and, and see uh, how we how we go through this uh, so it's not a place of arrival. It is simply uh, just a burden that the Lord has placed on me. Uh, and honestly, we couldn't get, if you go back, the very first video that is on this YouTube channel is a Bible study I did in December of 2022 entitled Drifting. Uh, and so just to provide some backstory to that, I can't go drifting part two without going identity, value, and purpose, because the premise behind drifting was showing us how uh, the church and even us as individuals have drifted away from God's original intent and God's original design. And so uh, as we engage identity, value, and purpose, we're going to understand God's original intent, God's original design for our lives. And so I can't go drifting part two uh, without providing identity, value, and purpose. So this is really a prequel to uh, the Bible study on the very first YouTube video that was posted on this channel. So just wanted to provide that uh, as well as some encouragement for you all that may be dealing with some burdens, dealing with uh, the Lord pressing you to do something. Uh, don't take it lightly. Don't take it for granted. It is for a reason. It is for a purpose. So just wanted to share that before uh, we transition into uh, Bible study day, y'all. So let's get it. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chay Cole, and it is Bible study day. <laughs> I'm super excited to get into it. I'm currently working right now, work from home today. So I'm really excited about the Bible study coming up. Getting ready to go get my hair cut, y'all. So I'm fresh, sliced, and diced for the Bible study. <laughs> I can't be out here slipping uh, in terms of uh you know just appearance wise too gotta make it look like we represent the lord over here you know and uh so just wanted to hop in it's currently uh 10 42 uh at the time of this recording so you know still counting down to 
uh, Bible study time and I'll check in after I get my hair cut and come back from that. Um, and then you'll get to see some of the, the preparation leading up to uh, the Bible study and then we'll get into the Bible study and then we'll go from there. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing what comes out of tonight and uh, already received some messages, some love uh, of prayers. So um, shout out to y'all men. And uh, yeah, we about to hop into the Bible study in a minute, y'all. So uh, exciting day ahead. So we'll see what happens. Catch y'all next time. And we're back back from getting my hair cut so uh actually been back for a while i was just running late so i had to finish up work and now we're at about five o'clock i got a meeting at six normally when i do something like this when i lead a bible study uh, especially from a virtual standpoint i like to pray uh, that hour before just for the people for whoever's going to participate you know those types of things um and I do this to make sure that one, I'm right and to prepare myself to deliver a word uh, as well as praying for the people who will be in attendance. And so I, I like to pray until I feel the Holy Spirit. So until I feel the Holy Spirit, we just gonna pray, right? So I have a meeting at six today though. So that's right up until time uh, for the Bible study at seven. So I don't think it's gonna last the whole hour. So what I'm gonna do is um, right after I finish working, right after uh, I kind of shut down, I'm gonna transition into prayer uh, and just start praying uh, for uh, the Bible study, praying over it and, uh, and the people that will come, right? And then I'll attend my meeting. Hopefully it doesn't last too long uh, to where I can kind of get ready, get set and uh, I'll, record a little bit before uh, we actually get into the Bible study so that you're prepared and, and you're, um, so that I'm prepared rather, uh, so that you kind of see uh, what else there is to do. But other than that, we're pretty much locked and loaded. I'm super excited to get into the Bible study tonight. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's time y'all. So yeah, um, we'll check back in whenever it's closer time for the Bible study. See you soon. What is going on everybody? Super excited. We're just a few minutes away from the Bible study. Didn't go according to plan. Uh, meeting ran a little bit over and here we are, right? So you got to make adjustments. So getting ready to, to get into it, get into the Bible study. Super excited. Got some worship music playing for the people as they join. And uh, yeah, we're about to get into it. So uh, you'll see some clips from the Bible study and then you'll also get a chance to view the actual Bible study um, or you've already watched it most likely because I'll probably post this afterwards. So uh, super excited to get into this. Can't wait uh, to see and hear uh, from the people. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Yo, so the Bible study been over for a minute now. I got a phone call afterwards, so I couldn't record directly afterwards. But it's a wrap. It was great. It was terrific. Uh, it was all that and more. Uh, a few hiccups here and there, uh, just from my end, from my perspective. And I think, you know, there's some things I would change. There's some things I would do better in the future. Um, my schedule just got completely thrown off. Uh, yeah, the like I said, the meeting went over. Uh, so I didn't have, you know, my set prep time in order to, to kind of fully uh, be invested in, um, you know, switching that, flipping that switch to get my mind uh, truly where I like for it to be. But that is ministry. That is, you know, life. That is anything with facilitation and presentation. Uh, sometimes things just don't go uh, the way that you have planned, right? And that's what we talked about a little bit in the Bible study. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but the Lord directs his steps. Proverbs 16 and 9. And so um, I hope it went over well with the people. Um, you know, and as you watched it, um, there is a survey that you can still take. I posted it in the YouTube uh, link for uh, the, the Bible study uh, when you watch the, the replay. So if you can fill that out as well, that would be great. And so this was just an experience. This was an encounter, and I'm super grateful to have 
been privileged to lead this discussion. Um, anytime I do a Bible study, y'all, anytime y'all tap in with me, I ask questions, man. I do not have a monopoly on the word of God, and I do not expect everything to be just from me, right? And um, the purpose and the intent behind creating these spaces is so that we can have discussions, so that we can really uh, unpack the word together. It's not this elitist, I don't operate like that, this elitist mindset, this elitist mentality that I got everything uh, and y'all have to hear and receive from me. Even with the podcast, that's why I try to bring people on uh, to talk about areas that they are have been graced for, um, that the Lord has blessed them to, to lead and uh, guide others in. So uh, I say all that to say I'm grateful. Uh, there probably will be another one at some point. I don't know when. When God says do something, I just do it. I'm just obedient. And so uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what takes for what takes place, what breaks forth. I'm tired, y'all. Um, this pour was real, uh, and it was in my belly. So, uh, I mean, y'all saw the notes. It was nothing but scripture, and so that's all I use. Uh, so um, please give me some critiques. Give me some feedback on uh, if you watched it. Let me know if it blessed you, if there's something you want to challenge me on. I'm open to feedback and receptive to it. Like I said, I do not have a monopoly on the word of God. And so uh, I hope that this this blessed you. So different style of video, different style of vlog. Uh, let me know if you like this type of content uh, in terms of seeing the behind the scenes and some of the preparation and stuff. There's certain aspects I wouldn't dare show. Uh, in terms of, you know, I, I just don't feel comfortable like saying, okay, I'm going to go pray it in, like recording myself praying. Like that doesn't seem genuine to me. To each his own, to those who do it. Uh, but that's just a personal thing. So I'll let you know what I'm doing, right? Um, and so, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm tired. So uh, I got to do this again tomorrow. So <laughs> um, busy week. And um, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next one uh, whenever that is next video next whatever so thank y'all for tuning in as always it's your boy che cole until next time peace